basically two types of connections that I talk about a lot in my videos. Um, both are, are waterproof uh, connectors that have a good uh, mechanical seal. Mechanical seal just means they snap tight on those wires so they're least likely to pull apart. Um, and you'll find both of them are do-it-yourself kits. You have your, your BVS2 snap lock connectors, which I'll use at the fixtures and I'll show you in a minute. And then we have our DBRY connections. So why we throw these in and I get asked all the time is if you need to tee off a wire somewhere. So for example, in this project, we ran all our, um, all our low voltage wire with our irrigation lines and we've left a bunch of extra wire at a few of the heads. And I have a light up there that I'm gonna have to now get a wire to. So I'm gonna tee off of this with another 12-2 wire to get it over there. And the reason we use these as opposed to these is just the uh, the ports and the connections uh, on these connections is not quite big enough to fit all of these wires. So basically what we do is we have our excess wire here that we're just gonna cut into now. And we have our wire that's gonna go to our fixture. And now we're gonna go and tee those off. So we're gonna strip off roughly an inch of every end of those wires. And another thing to keep in mind with low voltage wire, because I get asked all the time too, is is there like a, is it like stereo wire where there's like a common and a negative and you gotta keep the same, the same wires connected throughout? And the answer is no. It doesn't matter if you connect, uh, if you connect this, this same wire throughout all your lights, as long as at every fixture you've got one of each of these wires now connected, that's all you need. So there is no, you know, positive or negative or common or uh, or otherwise. It's just as long as you've got all your connections made, that's all it requires. So again, we're just stripping off roughly an inch of each of our wires to make our DBRY connections, and then with these. The way they work is there's two parts. There's a simple marette. Uh, it's not gel filled or anything, but that's going to fit into our gel filled tube. And we're going to take one wire from each of our strands. And we're just going to twist those together. And then we're going to do the exact same with the other three remaining wires that we have. We're gonna twist those together. Throw our marette on them. And then once we've done that, that's where we use our waterproof gel filled tubes. And these simply slide in, you get them right to the end. And then they just snap tight on the wire and those wires are not gonna come out of there. So you're gonna make two of those, you're gonna have your wire that came in, your wire that goes out, and then now you've teed off to your extra wire. Next, I'll show you how to use the BVS2 connectors at every light.